So the dosing is 3 to 15 microgram per kilogram per minute though many of us go to 20 microgram and many of us give dopamine and dobutamine in parallel at least in the past we used to. The beta 1 adrenergic receptor agonism with chronotropy and inotropy and it has a beta 2 adrenergic receptor causing peripheral vasodilatation. So this is one of the reasons why we can give dobutamine where you are not looking to actually increase the blood pressure but you are wanting to support the myocardium. So perinatal asphyxia is an example where you may have systemic vascular resistance which is increased. There are some situations in septic shock where dobutamine may be helpful as well uh, though norepinephrine is a preferred choice in septic shock. The clinical uses so cardiogenic shock where uh, you don't want the systemic vascular resistance to increase uh, but it has an unpredictable effect on the blood pressure because the vasodilatation may sometimes contribute to the blood pressure dropping. So it can also cause tachycardia and we should avoid in cardiac outflow obstruction uh, especially in infants of diabetic mothers. So if you have a hypertrophic uh, cardiac septum we should not uh, use dobutamine. If you consider any other outflow tract obstruction like hydric stenosis or coaptation again you would not use dobutamine if possible.